Hey guys, welcome back to Home Reviews. In this video, we're looking at some solar wall lights. So I wanted something nice to put up on the outside of my house instead of the uh, normal, uh, what looks like floodlights. And so I got these here sent to me and it comes in a two pack. I'll put the link below this video if you wanna check them out on Amazon. Uh, what I wanna do is go ahead and just, we're gonna open this up and we'll take everything out and lay it out so you guys can see what it is. All right, so here we got them out. This is everything that was in the package. You got your hardware to mount it to the wall with. You got a little instruction manual, uh, two brackets here. And one thing I love about solar lights is how easy it is to install them because normally it's no more than a few screws. Uh, this one's even easier than what most of them are. There's, there's no wires, there's no nothing. But you can see here, the way these work is that they actually are up like this there's your power button and this is the motion sensor so you obviously want that facing out the direction where people's going to be walking and then down here at the bottom you'll see this thing which has a little groove in it on that side and if we turn it you can see it has a couple uh, grooves on that side and what you do is you take these and if you look down in there you can see there's grooves and you match it up and so you just slide it down on here until it snaps uh, and then it's gonna stay on there just like that and all you have to do is just melt this bracket to the wall so you're gonna take this your three screws you're gonna put it on the wall wherever you want it and then you're gonna take your lamp and you're gonna set it down right in it so convenient so easy to use so let's look at this for a minute though because it has a it has a little port here where you can charge it and actually let me uh, just for a second so that is a C port, which is nice because those micro USBs were the thing of the past now, it seems like. You got your power button here, so if you click it, uh, there it is turned on. Obviously, you can't tell how bright it is yet because it's not dark out. But on top is your little solar panel, and when it's dark outside, it's going to be covered up, and then your light's going to kick on. So let's look at the manual. I want to see what some of the options are here for the settings all right so here's the manual i showed you everything about it the package contents the installation super easy and on the other side we have up the top left it says the default mode of the product is off press the switch to select your desired lighting mode make sure the motion sensor is pointing outwards slide down the light to fit into the mounting bracket we've already done that you can see down here it says this product is not only solar powered but rechargeable with a type c connection and then over here are your different settings so it says the lamp flashing when first pressing the switch it turns into full light for human detection 15 seconds after human leaves the lamp turns into half light until daytime so it just goes a little bit dim and then for two it says the lamp double flashing when second pressing the switch it turns into full light for detection 25 seconds after it leaves the lamp turns until daytime and then mode 3 it says the lamp triple flashing and turns off when third pressing the switch if you need to change the color temperature 3000k to 6500k hold the switch for two seconds so okay i didn't know we could do that let's go ahead and do that and just hold this down and look at that it does that's pretty neat and we'll go ahead and switch it back because I kind of like the white bright colors uh, better. So, but that is the, uh, I don't know if it's Linkind or, or Linkind, Linkind, but um, this is it right here, the LED solar wall light. That link's below if you guys want to go check them out. They look like they're going to be really decent. You can kind of, you can see the size of them compared to my hand. So they are decent size and I'm anxious to see what they look like uh, in the dark. All right, so we got the lights put up here on our back patio. You can see them up there at the top of the door. I'm running out of places to put these solar lights. I get so many of them. But when we come out in the evening, sometimes we go out to the pool. Sometimes we go to the hot tub that way. It makes it nice now that we're going to be able to see. Now, I put this on setting number two. And this means that when it detects motion, it turns on just like that one did. And it detected me clear back here, which was nice. And then that one detected me just fine too. That is, that's is really nice. Look at that. And so with the setting that it's on, it stays on for 25 seconds and then it just turns off. 
Now, if I wanted to, I could put it on setting number one. And if I did that, it would turn on, I'm thinking it said for 15 seconds. And then after 15 seconds, it, it goes to about half brightness until daylight, until it automatically kicks off. But this one here, after 25 seconds, if it doesn't detect motion, they will automatically turn off just like that one did in that one. So if we come back up to it again, there we go. I'm very impressed. Very, very nice lights. Uh, if you guys want to check them out, that link is below the video.